Heyo, Raj here. I just wanted to quickly explore the Xbox wireless adapter. Last year I did a video on Google Stadia and controller, and while there were some benefits, mainly that it's a free controller, the Stadia controller lacks some pretty standard features outside of Google's walled garden. Many of you commented on the frustration of trying to use the Stadia controller wirelessly within Steam or other launchers only to find it just wouldn't work. The lack of wireless controller support everywhere that I want a game led me to the Xbox wireless adapter. I already own an Xbox One and controller, so for me the adapter just made the most sense. If you're wanting to use another type of controller that uses Bluetooth capabilities, you might want to look at a different adapter, since the Xbox wireless adapter does not connect via Bluetooth, but instead with Microsoft's proprietary wireless protocol. So, so, so right. Here's my unboxing, though there's not much in there, just the dongle itself, an extension cable, and the assorted documentation. To get started, just plug the dongle into an available USB port. With the Xbox One controller in hand, press the button at the top of the dongle, and then quickly press the pairing button on the Xbox controller. When the two have successfully paired, you'll see a steady white light on the dongle. Plus, you'll see the usual Windows connection pop-ups. From there, you should be good to go. When you go to Steam, go to the top bar where it says Steam, and in the drop-down, select Settings. On the left side menu bar, go to Controller, and in the Controller menu, select General Controller Settings. Your Xbox One gamepad should automatically appear here. You can tweak the layout and calibration if you know what you're doing, but I've stuck with the defaults. In the Library tab, click the Advanced Filtering button to easily find games that have full or partial controller support. So I went one step further on the Steam filters by creating a dynamic collection. So now any games I purchase that have controller support should automatically appear in this list. And that's all there is to it. I don't think it could be much easier or cheaper, though I wouldn't mind having two Xbox One controllers so I didn't have to pair and repair from PC to Xbox and back again all the time. But that's neither here nor there. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. If it is, and even if it isn't, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you want more content from me, subscribe to stay notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.